Hello again everyone, my name is Yogdog and welcome to some more Imperator Rome. This time we are not playing with Invictus, we are playing with a different mod called Terra Indomita. Uh, I'm going to be seeing how this one goes. Um, so this is basically a huge expansion to the map to the east, so I believe it adds China and Japan into the game. Um, and it, it seems pretty fun from what I can tell uh, from what other people have said about it so far well I haven't played it myself so we're going to be giving that a go now so this does have all the content from Invictus mod in as well I believe um, so it's like an expansion of a mod uh, I think I'm going to end up playing in Japan because I think I was recommended to go there. So as you can see, uh, additional expansion to the east, which is pretty cool. Um, it will make playing in India a bit better, say India or Sri Lanka, because um, you'll have more trade partners to potentially work with. So, uh, where, which one was it which was recommended? Uh, it's not a bees. Somewhere in Japan here. I just need to find them. See if I was prepared. I would have had this done already. Uh, but I literally do record these videos off the cuff, and I uh, want to do it. Do it live, I suppose, to use a meme. Uh, let me see. Yamato. So, we need to find a Yamato. Do, 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 do. They could be all over the place here. Aha, found them, Yamato. Right. So Terra Indomita is based upon Imperator Invictus, fully integrates all of the content in Invictus. Also uses a map and many of assets from the Chinese to the end of the world mod, and adds many great features and better UI and full mechanical overhaul. TI is meant to be a standalone mod that contains all the great content of my the Imperator modding community. And then there's plenty of credits to uh, all the uh, people around. <laughs> right, so we are going to go for uh, Martial Ethos and military administration I think to begin with and what are we gonna do in terms of tech well mil tech we're gonna go mil tech and we're gonna go for integrated culture happiness our leader is unmarried does have eyes, right? On my screen, it's looking a bit weird. I think it's because my monitor is a bit of a smaller one. Uh, let's go with 12, 11, 10, 12 is kind of crazy. Confident, proud, bored of your motto. You'll do nicely. Uh, we do have some trade routes open. Ooh, there's additional... Ah, those are new. That's pretty cool. Let's import some fish, I suppose. Fish and the livestock is the only thing I can actually import to begin with. Right, Heartland of Yamato. So, gather support character interaction. We're using clan chiefs to gather support for the upcoming changes in our nation. 
and preparations for war. Trustworthy allies. We need two allies. Would give us legitimacy. Uh, so Kuri Yamato has support gathered. So is that something? Yeah, let's go gather support. Hmm. Lose five popularity. Yamato lose fifty gold. We'll try that out first. Okay, so we get monthly wealth, monthly statesmanship. Excellent. So I need to be at war. We're going to make fabricate a claim on Ia. How big are the is the levy? Not particularly, not particularly big. Still got no other trade options just yet. So I need to get support from another well, another family here. That's all our additional gold. Okay. So Mount True, any character, Mount True to two, Clan Chief, Support Gathered. I don't understand this one. So do I need to depose myself in order to get this one done? Well, we've got two faction support gathered now. The stubborn trait, you say. Not sure I like the stubborn trait. We've got the D tradition. Interesting. So I really need to just save money and go to war with a mercenary company. Hmm. I think I might change things around here. Go for a new start. And we're not going to spend the money on gathering support. We're going to instead spend money on hiring mercs. We want more land and we want it straight away. As uh, military administration. War score cost, because that seems good to me. Prominent and brave seems good as well. Uh, what religion are we actually? Wow. Okay. Fabricate a claim here first. Right, 
let's just do our conquering stuff first. This mercenary group here is going to be what we're going to end up hiring. Hmm. I have my micro, uh, not micro, I have my headset on, um, so I can't hear it too much, but it's absolutely hammering it, hammering it down outside. So, uh, you might be able to hear a bit of background noise. In which case, I apologise. Lightning as well. Wow, it's really bad weather out there. It's quite soothing. I always do like the sound of thunder and lightning. Alright, uh, so we are going to spend time just fabricating these claims. Definitely feels slower overall, I feel compared to other mods, which makes sense. It adds a huge chunk of new content and stuff in. Um, I do wonder how it will hand holds up light game, though. We'll lose 9.75 gold, get pop conversion speed. Sure, you can have it. It's... Uh Definitely blowing up a hooli outside. Okay, can I attack now? Well, I believe I can. So what we're going to do is, we're going to attach our two regiments to the Merc group, not regiments, levies. Oh my god, it's absolutely chucking it down out there. First engagement's going in our favour. Always a little bit of manpower, but nothing too crazy. The problem is, there's like a million forts around us. Manpower isn't uh, exactly amazing either. Yeah, I've gathered all our forces in one there. Any import routes? Nope. is fine. That's something I should have done really. Uh, let's have a look. Okay, so that's too much of a thing to do, uh, too much of an alliance to begin with. Let's try it again. Instead of using the matter of war tree, bro. It's proper monsoon weather outside. I'm talking about it a lot, but I'm actually, I've not seen a storm like this in quite a while in. Uh, here in the UK. Hoping it dissipates the muggy weather we've been having.
Right, we're going to queue three claims up. And the reason for that is I want to have options instead of putting all our eggs in one basket. Uh, Heartland of Yamato. So any character in Mount True is equal to two, currently zero. Trustworthy allies, preparations for war. So it's the preparations for war which we're interested in. Wait until we're ready to declare before we do that one. I don't think it'll give us too many additional uh, levies, but every little helps. Minister of Excellence, uh, get any additional national tax, please. It's not going to be too much more, but every little helps. Right, we're going to do that, because... Okay, I think we can work with this. I'm going to strong arm once. the best uh, yeah use deception no oh, that's not good lack of morale all right this can work but it's difficult <laughs> The your starting situation is just tough. You got nowhere you can easily expand to. Cause they all ally with each other. You gotta rely on mercs and stuff. And uh, mercs are expensive. You don't have the economy to keep them forever really. Uh, you don't have the manpower to really keep going on war on multiple fronts, which is what you're gonna be in. Um, as well. I actually don't know how you do this. I don't know what the best option is. Uh, I might... Go for some extra Freeman instead. Because the discipline isn't going to be a huge help at this point. What the hell? That's quite the storm. Secure brave, what have you matter? put our eggs in that basket. I could ally with others, but they'll never join a war. Not this early on, so there's not really too much point. I 
I was thinking I'd get more troops and freemen, but I think you need citizens, not freemen. That is one of the things I'm not entirely certain about as to whether the recruitment mechanics. Go for the monthly political influence. I uh, could do that. Changing mini map and everything at the bottom right. That's pretty cool. I need more centralization. Belongs to the gods, it belongs to Yamato. We need the money. Right, preparation to war is ready. are allowed. Alliances get so freaking big every time. I feel like that is something I'm missing here. I don't know how you're meant to do early aggression. Maybe just not meant to. I'm literally hug boxed by the AI. This isn't possible. I don't know what's going wrong here. Because they all join a defensive league, all of them around you. I'm unsure what the solution to that would be. I mean, I could just keep playing without going to war for a bit, but that'd be a bit boring. It's not so boring if you have some land to work with and build up economically, but we don't. We literally have one province. I think this is a case of I need to get good. But I don't know how to get good in this case. Integrated culture happiness. Let's import our food. Ooh, we've got quite a nice mercenary commander this time. Ah, there's more buildings. That's pretty cool. I look forward to using them.
newfound tribesman. Yeah, we'll take a new tribesman. This works a bit better. I think I have found a way. It's the old plus two. Right now we just need our morale to recover. Which that takes a while. Just about won that battle. Ooh, plus ten percent on, on all our various uh, research. Nice. Oh yeah, we want the additional morale of armies, loyalty of generals. Oh, local manpower, local treasury. We're going to local treasury. We'll bribe you to keep you loyal. So we need to take a fort now, ideally. Status quo. Fourteen percent. We rolled a twelve, we rolled a six that time. Ouch. went pretty well for us again. Now we get lucky and get the fort, we'll be fine, but if we're unlucky and run out of food, we're not going to be fine. Food shortage, 35%. Going pretty well for us. Still not quite fallen though. No. Only rolled a four. So we've got forty nine percent chance, but um, we're not having much luck here. There we go. We return, we gain some more food. I think that's a good place to stop this episode. Once again, everyone, thank you very much for tuning in and watching me play some Imperator Rome. Um, 
I will be continuing with his running uh, very soon. Uh, if just a quick one, I'm currently running a charity streamathon on my Twitch channel in aid of Doctors Without Borders. I'm giving away a ton of games over the course of September 2022. If anyone could pop by and say hello, I'd be super grateful. Uh, we do do giveaways every 100 days as well. Uh, we do a charity stream every 100 days, and I usually manage to get a few things to give away. Uh, this time it's about 24 games in total all over, over the course of the month. Anyway, thank you very much for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.